So, good afternoon and welcome to Panasonic Live at IFA 2013 in Berlin. Now, we've been broadcasting for the last three days. Myself and Adam have become known as InfoTars. What's an InfoTar? Well, we'll be your eyes and your ears and hopefully uh, a guiding voice around the Panasonic product booth here at IFA. We've got cameras, we've got 4K televisions, we've got magnificent home appliances, a new espresso maker, washing machines, tumble dryers, hair dryers. We can dry anything that you want us to dry. So, send your questions in. Uh, you can put missions just down here uh, ready for us and uh, we will endeavour to do our best to uh, accomplish those missions uh, in a speedy and eloquent way. Uh, I'm wearing a head camera, so let's go off and have a little look around the show, but I believe Adam's got some questions for me already, so uh, let's head off. Absolutely, Tony. Actually, we've got a question from Simon C. He would like to see some 4K technology and some photographic equipment, especially the GX7. Okay. Well, imagine the GX7 may come up. I want to spend a bit of time in this 4K Ultra HD section. Now, I've been slightly pigeonholed as the cameraman over the last three days, but my other passion is uh, putting my feet up and watching television. And uh, what better way to do it? I've actually got two 4K televisions here. I've, uh, on the left-hand side, I've got the WT600. Now, the WT600, which Panasonic announced three days ago, is a really exciting development because we've got a television here that is the first 4K television that's capable of displaying a 60p input. Now, regular television uh, that we get at, at home is generally displayed at, uh, at, at around 50 frames a second. And currently, 4K TVs have only been able to deliver 4K content with a full color spectrum at uh, 30 frames a second. So we're 20 frames a second short. Now, this one can either do 60 progressive frames or 50 progressive frames, depending on where you are in the world. And if you have a look around the show, uh, we're actually showing some fast moving action here, which is unusual for a 4K television. And I have to say, it looks splendid. The color as well looks absolutely fantastic. So uh, that's a, a good start for the Panasonic WT600. Um, as we move further along, uh, along around the, uh, the, the 4K area, uh, we can see a 4K tablet. Now, again, this is 20 inches, uh, and the definition on this tablet, it, it, it's more of a business proposition rather than a, a consumer effort, but uh, as we move this, this beetle around using the touchscreen, you can see some really clear detail, some really clear views, and uh, I think it's a stunning example of what Panasonic are capable of doing. I've been desperate to try this out. Uh, this is uh, trying various makeup styles on my face. So, uh, oh, and you can see the one on the right there, uh, rather attractive, uh, Antonia at the weekends. And there's a little bit of little bit of rouge on the uh, on the left hand side there. So, uh, showing this off in a, in a in a kind of slightly different way. Femme fatale, it says on the left hand side there. Um, over here, we've got some gents trying out uh, an architectural feature. Hello, gentlemen. You're you're live on the internet, so uh, don't write anything uh, don't write anything rude on there. Um, but uh, you can see here we're using the uh, uh, the, the, the touch pen here to note a, uh, a, a blueprint of a building. And uh, because you have something that's such fine detail, remember, eight million pixels go into making up this screen. Uh, you can get really fine, very precise detail on here. So uh, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, a bit strange. Not particularly architectural. Um, over here, we've got some 4K editing. So editing video on a large 4K screen. So our demonstrator here is taking uh, bits of uh, footage and cutting them all together. Uh, really exciting. And I'd imagine for an editor, uh, it's a wonderful way to work because all of that detail that's been filmed you're getting it all right there in front of you. Over here, we've got a 4K camcorder, and we talk about 4K uh, as very much something that's coming in the future with regard to uh, broadcast. Uh, but over here is a way of making 4K content for yourself, and you can see that we've got a sort of Jurassic Park style uh, setup here, and uh, all of these people here, no idea of the horrors to come, but uh, when we look at this played back on a WT600 and 65 inches of uh, ultra high definition glory, 
you can see there that uh, there's a stunning level of detail and uh, everything that kind of comes from these these prototypes and the uh, and the business use cameras ends up in the consumer products so stuff that you can find on the shelves of your local electrical retailer will end up there um, got some 4k upscaling over here we've actually got a comparison of 4k versus regular full hd now I, I watch a lot of my programming regular full hd and it, it looks pretty good uh, if you look at this from a distance it looks you know very lovely indeed but uh, looking at the ultra hd version um, it's absolutely stunning remember there's four times the detail so we go from two megapixels right the way up to eight megapixels um, over here one last thing on 4k we've got 4k gaming now Inside the car here, uh, we can see a gentleman who's probably been queuing up quite a while. How's he getting on? All right. Uh, well, let's have a look at the screen. The graphics here are stunning. And because the WT600 can accept this 60p input, there's two ways of doing it. We can do it through the new HDMI 2.0 spec, or in this case, we're doing it through data port, uh, which you might recognize from uh, Max. Oh, might be going the wrong way on the grass, wrecking the car. Um, but either put them off tone or HDMI 2.0. So um, looking, looking like he needs a new driving license, to be honest. Um, so that's a little look around 4K. I'm sure we'll come back to it later on in the, in the session. Absolutely. There's lots of 4K technology going on. Raphael would like to know, discover all the features of the camcorders. Discover all of the features. All of the features, of the features he would like to see. Raphael does realize we've only got 40 minutes here. But well, let's uh, try, uh, let's let's try uh, get over some of the best ones. Uh. Yeah, let's wander down. I'm going to go down the left side because it's a lot less busy. There's a fellow here taking pictures, hopefully with a Lumix camera. No, get out of my stand. Right, where are we <laughs> heading? OK, uh, let's head down here and try and find a camcorder. Uh, so I would assume that you're after the very, very best in, uh, in camcorder technology. So I'm going to try and find you uh, X929 camcorder. Um, where are we going? I'm sure I saw one just over here. Very difficult in the imaging section. We've got so much product for people to touch and to try that sometimes we lose track of where it all goes. But I've just found one uh, just here. Now, let me step inside the stage area and uh, I can pick up the X929. Now, camcorder uh, fits very comfortably in the hand. You've got this strap over here that kind of stabilizes things down. And um, what I want to do, though, is I just want to show you first off the stabilization function. So uh, let's move the camera into something a little way away. And if I turn the optical image stabilizer off, I'm just going to hold this in one hand like you would do with a camcorder. And you can see it's quite shaky. Um, I haven't really got full control over it. So uh, let's just activate the image stabilizer again. There we go. And. Uh, you know, it's impossible to hold something incredibly still at, uh, at long zooms um, because you're breathing, you've got blood pumping through your veins, your, your, your body's always moving. Um, but with the optical image stabiliser built into these camcorders, you can stabilise at, you know, very long zoom distances. I'm getting a little bit further here. No, that's the, that's the end of the So this is the uh, X929. This is a 3MOS system. And uh, 3MOS means it's got three sensors inside, red, green, and blue, one for each of the primary colours. And by separating those colours out for recording purposes, we can get great uh, colour reproduction and brilliant performance in low light as well. So uh, that's something to look at. Now, the other thing you've got here is a pull-out viewfinder. So uh, once that's pulled out, we can have a look through the viewfinder and uh, we can compose our shots, maybe in bright sunlight, or perhaps that's the way you prefer to shoot anyway. Because this is the top of the range, uh, we also have a zoom ring at the top here, and you can use this for zooming, or you can use it for focusing. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use it for zooming, but you can see here it's possible to get very precise, very precise motion. So uh, using the zoom ring to uh, operate the zoom gives us a much better, uh, uh, a much better level of control over those zooming functions. So create all those arty effects. Don't make people feel seasick by uh, zooming in and out using the control and going really quickly. Just use the, uh, use the manual view by the manual ring, and uh, that's another nice, uh, another nice feature. There, there's really lots to explore, and uh, the best way to do it is to, uh, is to is to get hands on. But hopefully that gives you a uh, brief introduction to 
some of the features on the camcorder. If I did it all, I would be here all day. So, uh, Adam. Yes, we've got more questions coming in. Uh, so we've just had a question come in from Jens W. Show me a more detailed spec of the HXA100. The HXA100. So we've been looking at this. This is the camera that uh, myself and Adam and the other Infotars have been wearing over the course of the last two or three days. Uh, so, HXA100. Uh, if you want um, proper technical specs of this one, um, they're all available on the Panasonic websites. But what I can tell you is for such a small camera, it, pa it packs a real punch. Uh, 50 progressive frames a second at 28 megabits per second. Uh, the one thing you'll notice about this camera, it doesn't have a screen. Uh, so how do you see what it's seeing? Well, you connect this via smartphone or tablet using the Panasonic imaging app, which we'll no doubt we'll get to a little bit later in the session. Uh, and then you can use that as a live Wi-Fi link to see exactly what the camera is seeing. We've got four ways of mounting it here. So it comes with the headset. So the idea is a wearable camera. You can use it to record very much your daily activities. Uh, secondly, we've got a helmet mount, so if you're doing rock climbing or something that requires you to wear a helmet, you can pop the camera on there. We've got a suction cup mount for vehicles, and you can see it's got this rather fetching hairdo uh, going around it, no doubt to shield the inbuilt microphone from uh, wind noise. And then we've also got a handlebar uh, mount, so if you're going uh, mountain biking, BMXing, all of those outdoor sports that I don't have a clue about, you can attach this to a, uh, any part of your, uh, your machinery and uh, know that it's going to stay stable and safe and leave you to concentrate on what you're doing. And the idea of this is a wearable camera, uh, your hands are free and uh, I can certainly say that that's, uh, that's benefited me. My hands have been free right the way through this so I can pick products up and show them off to you. Fantastic. Okay then, Tony. Gajendra would like to see the latest Lumix camera range. Latest Lumix camera range, okay. Uh, so what's what's new with Lumix? We've got it's a new one, this is a new one. This is the XS3 with the Lumix DC Vario, five times optical zoom and incredibly slim. Uh, so all the great stuff that goes into uh, Lumix cameras. The brand's been around for, for a number of years now, and uh, I think our customers really appreciate the quality, but not only that, it's the ease of use. And uh, this one will fit in uh, the top of a uh, top of a shirt pocket and not ruin your lines. So for all you fashionistas out there, this is going to do the job. Uh, five times zoom, so get, oh, sorry, 8.4 times zoom. So I think we've got some uh, correction on there as well. Um, but really, it's, uh, it's a wonder that uh, image quality like this is available in such a small body. Uh, really lovely, that one. We've also got uh, the LF1. So I'm just going to give you some potted highlights here. Uh, the LF1 is Panasonic's first compact camera um, featuring a larger sensor than you'd find uh, inside many of the other compacts on the market with a, a, a Leica Vario Simicron F2.0 lens. But have a look on the back. What's that? That's a viewfinder. And the viewfinder means that you can compose in bright sunshine and not have to worry about the screen being overcome with glare or uh, worry about holding it you know, up high and not being able to see what you're doing. Use the viewfinder and compose in a way that will appeal to traditional uh, photographers. All the great features that you expect from a Panasonic camera, so intelligent auto, all built in, but uh, again, a very neat and very pocketable, uh, very pocketable camera. Um, what else have we got here? Uh, I guess we should take a quick look at the GX7. Uh, GX7 I've got down the end, uh, down the end here. Uh, may I have a look at the GX7, please? Thank you very much indeed. I've been handed the retro style GX7. This is the, uh, the silver trim. We've also got it in a black. They're looking very fetching with the 20mm uh, mm Lumix kit lens. And uh, this is stunning. This has got uh, a 90 degree tiltable viewfinder. So uh, that's a first for a, a Lumix G series camera to have that uh, on board. Previously, you'd have had to buy that, uh, buy that as, a, um, as an accessory. Uh, we've also got a pop-up flash, and uh, you can bend that back and uh, use it as a bounce flash. When uh, we asked the engineers about that, they said we discovered a new function, but it actually, you know, it works really nicely. Um, dual wheels, so lots of control uh, that you've got on here. You've got a dual wheel on the top, and you've also got a, a, a dual wheel on the back. But uh, more importantly than that, 
It's got inbuilt body stabilization so that you can use legacy lenses. We've got a little uh, feature just over here of how this works, and you can see it beavering away there, uh, trying to stabilize the stencer as uh, old shaky hands here tries to take a picture. So uh, that's the Linux GX7. That's just a very brief overview of some of the things we've got here at the show. Uh, I'm sure we can pop back to it uh, later on in the session. Absolutely, and don't forget, guys, that you can ask us anything, or if you want to see a product close up, just type in the box, and we'll uh, make it our mission to get down there and to have a look. But the next question's coming from uh, Branis Lavaka. Uh, what is the newest beauty product from Panasonic? Right, let's go into the home app section. So, I know you've been dying to come down to this neck of the woods all week, Tony. I've, I've been avoiding it like the plague, but uh, this afternoon I'm feeling brave. Let's, uh, let's head down. So over here we've got some LED lighting as well. So these can be 89% more efficient than uh, traditional hal halogen or incandescent light. They'll also last 25 times longer, so they will save you money. Okay, so the latest in beauty products. I'm going to be guided by Adam over here, and uh, Adam can show me what he's, uh, what he's got. <gasps> Straightening your hair. Absolutely, okay, well, making the most out of it, because of course Panasonic have launched this full range of beauty care products, especially with this Nano E technology. And what is Nano E, everybody's asking at the end of the day, because a hair dryer is meant to dry your hair, um, but the dryness can also damage the hair. So Nano E is actually a specialist moisturizing technology that can add moisture to your hair, meaning that you're going to get the full body, keeping it beautiful and healthy, making the best out of your beauty products. And so you do have the NA60 Nano E hair dryer, and then you also have the Nano E hair straightener. And then, as Neil was playing about with earlier, I know he uh, fully enjoyed it, was the SA31, and that's the facial steamer. And that's there to add in the uh, the uh, let's actually see if we can get this one going, shall we? Because I know they've been on all day, otherwise, we'd be able to run around to the counter and have a look. Um, so, yes, this is actually using the steam and then adding moisture into the face. So, you can see it's starting to warm up. I'm going to take a seat, Tony. This is fantastic. Okay. No worries, I'll Great join stuff. And as you can see, making it nice and simple, hands free. Lucky we don't have the camera here, we would have steamed up and nobody would have been seeing anything. But this is really to uh, slow down the aging process and add the moisturizer into your into your skin at the end of the day. And being in the uh, exhibition, that's a great way to start the day. And uh, maybe we should uh, move over to the gentleman section as well, because of course we've got some fantastic shavers. Of course, everyone's- You mean, you mean gentlemen can be beautiful too? Gentlemen can always look beautiful too, because we've got a full range of beauty care products for the gentlemen. So everything up to our five blade shaver, we've got a brand new uh, oh. five blade shaver. It is a wet and a dry shaver. And as you can see, anyone can actually come down to the booth and use these products as well. So it looks like this gentleman here is actually having a bit of a trim. Um, but as I say, they're wet and dry. We also do certain models with a docking station as well that will not only charge the product, but will actually clean the product for you. I think and the amazing thing about here. the blades is they've actually been engineered and created exactly the same as a samurai sword. So making them ultra sharp, and it means they're going to last a very, very long time. But of course, this actually has uh, stubble uh, detection. And the reason it has the stubble detection is so when you're gliding over the skin and it detects hair, it will actually use the linear motors to start moving backwards and forwards, being able to uh, cut the hair a lot quicker. But then when it detects that there's no hair and there's just the skin, then it means that it's actually going to re reduce the linear motion, so it's going to not damage any of that skin, Tony. How was that? That's, uh, that's lovely. That's really, uh, really quite good, actually. Looking I'm, fantastic. I'm a shaved man normally, but I could, I could well be converted. Okie dokie, we got one now from uh, Frain V. See the new, uh, sorry, see the newest Panasonic telephones. Telephones, right, let's, uh, let's head over this way. Um, right. Dun, 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 dun. Telephones, so we've got uh, some decked phones here. So, uh, what have we got? Right, so, newest range. Adam, what can you tell us about these? Right, we've got a full range of deck phones being shown off here. Some of them are standardized deck phones, but these have been designed with style in mind. And as you can see here, you can actually now use your own smartphone as an extra handset. So when the phone does start ringing at home, you're not going to have to run around the house to find out where the kids have left the, uh, the phone when they've not put it back on the station. You're going to be able to use your mobile phone to answer all of your home phone calls, which is a really great idea that Panasonic 
people bought in and it's all dedicated from another app and always with Panasonic these apps are free um, so these are great ways of being able to do it and as you can see beautiful design and then we've also just launched a couple of deck phones that are actually smartphones um, because they have an Android operating system so if we move on a little bit further you can see these are running the latest uh, Android uh, the ice cream sandwich and that means that we can load on apps and because it has a front-facing camera we can actually do video calls as well so if you enjoy Skyping your friends and family from around the world you're gonna be a load on to these apps and you're gonna be able to use your home phone as a smartphone which is a really great idea so if uh, someone in the family doesn't have a smartphone and they may not go out very often this would be the ideal solution for them Marvellous. That looks uh, that looks great. Okay, what okay. else have we got? Right, well I hope you're thirsty, Tony, because Sue W, can you show me the new espresso maker? I've been dying for somebody to ask me to show them the new espresso maker. I get so tired backstage waiting to go on. And uh, yeah, I, I, I could do with a coffee. Right, I think so. I can see a free machine just down the back, Tony. Of course, this is all about precision personalization from Panasonic. So we're just gonna squeeze on through. Sorry there, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry there, just squeezing on through. Okay, so what we've got here is Panasonic's brand new Espresso Maker. It looks like someone's had a play about with this one. They're just waiting for it to, uh, to actually clean itself because it has a self-cleaning system. So I'm just seeing if there's actually one live to, uh, for us this, to have this, a play this, about this with. One here looks this is a really nice. compact Espresso Maker. It allows you to use your beans and actually tailor the coffee and the espresso to yourself. So you can see everyone here. Good afternoon, sir. You're live on the internet. Um, gentleman here is actually having a cup of coffee being made for him. And the great thing is actually while we're around the back, Tony, because I know what us gents are like with user manuals and what have you, we normally throw them in the bin. Well, actually, if I pull this lid here, you'll see that we've got a quick reference guide, everything there at our hands, making it really nice and simple. But the great thing is this, uh, this espresso maker will make your uh, dedicated espressos. You can choose the amount of water, how strong it is, and you can even do two cups at the same time. It'll also make you your macchiatos or your lattes as well. And it even comes with an extender pot so you can be able to fill it with 250 grams worth of beans as well. Um, maybe we would just be able to have a sneak round in a minute to have a look at the color touchscreen um, because everything you can customize. So you can actually customize four coffees to your own use. Um, so it means if you like your coffee a little bit stronger, sorry there, madam, we're just going to squeeze in. Do you want to come around here, Tony, and we'll be able to see the, uh, see the screen? So as you can see, we've got our espressos, we've got our Americanos and our macchiatos. And if you buy the additional milk dispenser, you can even do your frothy milk as well. So if you enjoy a lovely hot chocolate and it can do hot water. As you can see, the dispenser can be raised and lowered depending on the height of the cups. So if you do like a skinny latte, we simply push the drip tray away and then we're able to fit the skinny latte cups there as well. What's really nice, yeah, that's it, Tony. If we just pop this, uh, pop this button here, you can see the uh, where. Oh, let me just raise that back up. The water reservoir, so you don't have to plumb it into the mains. Nice and easy to be refilled. And because it comes with Brita filters, you just tell it what month that you put the Brita filter in, and it will actually uh, tell you when you need to replace it. But what do you fancy, Tony? Because uh, I'm sure we can make. I don't mind if we make ourselves a cup of coffee. You'd like an espresso? Oh, fantastic! There we go. So we pop the espresso down. The great thing, this actually has a light as well. How do you like your espresso? Espresso, Tony. Uh, I would like it in the traditional. You would like it in the traditional way. Well, I was speaking to a bit of a coffee connoisseur earlier, and he says, according to the Italians, we should be having 25 ml of water, and he recommends a strength of four beans. And it all comes down to the beans at the end of the day. So really, that's down to your choice. But let's just start that up there. So as you can see, the beans are now being grinded away in the top. And in about 30 seconds time, you're gonna have the best and nicest espresso I'm sure you've ever had, Tony, because this is a really, really great machine. So how long do you say this takes? This takes around about 30 seconds. About 30 seconds, that's, uh, that's not bad. I'm usually waiting a lot longer in uh, some well-known coffee chains. Uh, that you can find on most high streets. And of course, this is with your own beans and the way you want to have your coffee. And they always make sure you get the creme perfect as well, because that's where the aroma and everything comes from. So really uh, dedicated with the specialized beans, but really being able to give you that personalization at the end of the day. That's and that's wonderful. pretty much done. Do you want any sugar, Tony? Or? Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, let's take that with me. Um, yeah, pop a, pop a, pop a quickly do that for you. And then oh, as I say, you. the greatest thing about this, oh, thank you very much, that's very kind. So everyone here today is able to come down. There you go, my friends. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
fantastic. And then the last thing, oh, of course, everything needs to disappear. So we pop this box here, and you'll see that all the residue disappears for you. Just be able to pop away in the bin nice and simply. So how was that for you? Wonderful. I, I can't say speak highly enough of it. Super. Fantastic. Right, we've got another question from Emily V. She wants to see the newest hairdryer from Panasonic. Oh, my goodness. Okay. We're back to the beauty care again. Look at that. God, we've got people running so, through I mean, the arena. I mean, Incredible. I mean, hair, is, hair is not something that I know an awful lot about. I lost most of mine about five years ago. Uh, but here we've got an example of one. Um, so, yes, this is the NAE65. This is what I was talking about earlier with the Nano E technology. And it looks like someone's actually enjoying the hairdryer as we speak at the moment. So maybe we want to go across and see how he's getting along. Ah. And how is that feeling for you, this uh, giving you nice, bouncy, moisture hair? It's, it's really very, it's a great hair dryer. So the great thing is it's not going to dry your hair, it's actually adding moisture in with our Nano E technology as well. What is Nano E technology? So the Nano E technology is there to be able to add the moisturizer into your hair because otherwise you're going to be drying your hair and damaging all the hair fibers. With Nano E, that's going to be putting moisture back in whilst drying your hair at the same time. Enjoy that? It feels so bouncy. Oh, you look magnificent Thank as well. So okay, Tony S, draw a moustache on the Infotar using a, the Plasma Touch Pen. Great one, that one is cool. We're really starting to use the products to their full potential now. <laughs> and of course, uh, with the touch pen, you can use it for many other different applications at the end of the day, rather than uh, just uh, abusing your friends. But of course, if you're into sports coaching or educational, this could be a great tool for you. And uh, Tony, so with the touch pen, what particular uh, TVs does it come with? Um, my understanding is that it's with the entire plasma range. So uh, plasmas allow you to uh, use this, this, this touch pen feature. We've got somebody using the touch pen feature. Stop! Wait, you're live on the internet. We would like to take a picture of him. The both of us. And we want to put moustaches on ourselves. Can we do that? Can we do this? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yes. fantastic. So, OK, we're going to have a picture If we, if we, if we come and stand very together, very there you go. So. Wait a second. And of course, this gentleman here is actually using the uh, swipe and share feature. Bit of Zoolander well, going okay, on again so let's there. See, let's see how this is going to work. So, uh, you're going to take this picture. With the normal uh, camera. OK. The we'll start the Viera remote app. And then on swipe and share. Swipe and share. And photos. Photos. Camera roll. And there you are. All right, send a picture up. Not our finest work, I don't think, but that should appear on the screen any second now. We're going to try again. Swipe. Oh, the joys of live television. Let's try it one more time. OK, well, let's draw a moustache on somebody else. Let's see if... Uh, OK, our, our confident here, he's, he's incredibly confident this is going to, uh, this is going to happen. He's going to just, he's, what he's going to do, he's going to reset it. But can we have a look at the touch pen whilst, uh, whilst we try and get that picture up on the screen? So here's the touch pen. It comes in the box with all Panasonic plasma TVs. And it's... Uh, well, it's it's a it, it's a, it's a pen. This little bit at the end here is specially used to uh, protect um, protect the screen, essentially. So uh, we asked some of the product managers here: is that uh, would we uh, would we damage the screen? And uh, he said, no. You'll break the pen before you break the screen. So, ha oh, ha! Here we go. Right? Do you want to draw this for us? Yeah. So we want moustaches. I let's want a big curly whirly one. I want a Colonel Custer moustache. Big, cur big curly whirly one. Oh, go for it. Yeah, let's give us the full works. Oh, that's 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 a scary one actually. Okay, and now me. Uh, to match my, to match my hair. Oh, white. White let's, to match my hair. Let's 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 give Tony some really oh, good fun, yeah, shall we? Sure. Look, oh, so okay. let's let's get in there. So that's superb. That That's fantastic. All right, oh, right, a little soul patch just to finish it off. So there we go, Tony S. Uh, that's myself and Adam with uh, comedy moustaches. Oh, dear. That's never going to go down well, is it? No, right. no, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'll, I'll live with it. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you very much, my friend. OK, Jane K, please show me some features on your newest combination microwave. You'll have Back to do down this, to home think. appliance again. This is incredible. OK, of course, we have been talking about microwaves for the past couple of days. And the great thing is Panasonic actually 
have developed solo microwaves, grill microwaves, and of course the combination microwaves. And these are all, uh, once again, just like you were talking about the professional camcorders earlier, Tony, when we utilize all of that features um, and bring them down into a consumer range, it's exactly the same with the microwaves as well. So maybe actually, Tony, I, I know they're using the microwaves in the uh, cooking kitchen, so maybe you want to uh, see if we can sneak away in there and see if they're actually still cooking using these microwaves live. So, as we can see, just sneaking through again, it may, we may be a little bit late for the cooking, yes. That's not a problem because we're actually come straight over to the microwaves and have a look, so. Right, afternoon, and everyone, look, everyone's so friendly here as well. So this is the new CF873 combination microwave. As you can see, rather than in the past where we've had actually dedicated hard buttons, we've actually now got touch sensitive control system here as well. And you must admit the black mirror finish does look absolutely Superb, stunning. Yeah. Um, the great thing about this combination microwave as well is it doesn't have a turntable. So I'm just gonna go in here and just take a few of the trays out there we go and you can see there's no turntable built in this means that it's actually the uh, magnetron underneath spinning allowing us to put in our large casserole dishes our lasagna dishes and so on and so forth as well we've got an example of the magnetron under here haven't we yeah absolutely so if you want to use the cutout so ah, you can see down the bottom here, rather than the food rotating, it's actually the Magtron underneath. And as you can see right in the middle there, it's talking about inverter technology. And the inverter allows us to fluctuate the power to keep a beautiful constant cooking, giving you beautiful, beautiful, still pink centered meat. Or even if you're defrosting, we call it chaos defrosting. It means that the outside of the chicken won't start to cook while the inside's still frozen. Uh, and the great thing is you can combine these settings as well. So in other words, you can be using the uh, convection oven and you can be using the microwave settings at the same time to ensure that you can cook the outside and the inside to the perfection as well. Okie dokie, right, we've got some more questions flying through now. So Darren L, can you show me the induction hob? Maybe demonstration. So, Let's yes, okie dokie, we have got our built-in range, but I think what we should really show them is a little bit of the future, Tony. So what we've got here is freestyle induction. Afternoon there, we're live on the internet. May we, uh, may we come and join you in here? That's very kind after you, Tony. There we go. So this is what we're calling freestyle induction. That means, there's no rings, Tony. Where are the rings? I can't see no rings. No rings whatsoever. Look, we've just got a big piece of glass here. And the great thing is this all has individual coils. Now, I'm just going to take this pot here and I'm going to place it absolutely anywhere. And then the great thing is what it's going to do, it's going to detect the pan. And with the induction technology, it's going to transfer the heat directly to the pan. Can I move this somewhere else? Go. You can put it absolutely anywhere you like, Tony. I want it there. There you go. And now you can see down on the... Uh, color touchscreen here, it's told you where it is as well. So if you want to push the button, you can now select your heat or your temperature. And because they are individual coils, it will actually stir your food for you as well. So there you go, there's your heat. You can choose your level of heat. And because it is induction and with Panasonic's Opti sensors, it will actually detect when the pan temperature is dropping. Normally when you throw ingredients in, the pan temperature will drop. Well, this will increase the heat to keep a beautiful, even cooking event. But it, it doesn't stop. Already. It is, you see it's absolutely fast. And the great thing is, look, you're cooking away there. I can have my hand anywhere around it and it is safe and cool to touch. It's not going to cause me any damage whatsoever, okay? That's amazing. And the greatest thing is, you'll see there's a juicer next to you, Tony. So would you like to uh, pop, pop that onto the cooker? Go pop on, it pop straight the, onto pop the induction onto the hob. It's not even hot anymore, so I can put it here. So it's not hot anymore, so we can put it exactly where we had the pan. Hey, look, there's a little juicer icon. Come up here, I'm going to press that. I love pressing buttons. Oh, I can choose my speed as well, so I'm going to choose two. But Tony, it's not plugged well, in. It's done We're nothing. talking about wireless power. So this is a wireless blender. Wireless blender, wireless juicers. We're looking at bringing in a full range of these kitchen items as well. And the great thing is this will be able to be in portable modes. We can do an entire counter with this technology as well. So really looking at the future of induction technology this is. Wow, that is, um, I'm blown away to be honest. I don't spend an awful lot of time in the kitchen and maybe I should. Well, there you go. Maybe uh, lucky lady at home will be able to get you cooking again. So, okie dokie, Robert V, show me the newest washing machine. Right, well, that's certainly not my area of expertise. <laughs> right, so let's move across to the other side of home appliances. 
and see what we can get going. So, I mean, if you have got a large family Panasonic R showing off a washing machine here that may suit you, but sadly, we're not going to sell it. Maybe you'll be able to see it from where your view at the moment, Tony. It's probably the largest washing machine at EFA. Um, but as I say, this is just a fantastic demon purpose, uh, purpose demonstration purpose. And the greatest thing is we've actually got the new Panasonic uh, 140VZ4. This is our top of the range washer. It's a 10 kilo washer. It's a 1400 spin washer, but it's also got steam action as well. And if you wanted to pop your head inside the drum, you will see a really beautiful drum. That's called a Zanzanami drum as well. But once again, just like the Espresso Maker, you've actually got your user manual built into this with the help functionalities as well. And the great thing about this, it will actually detect the amount of clothes, change the way it's the wash cycle to be able to speed up the process. And it will also save you around about 10,000 litres of water through our five hydroactive systems. And extremely eco-efficient with its A triple plus minus 30%. So as you can see, we have a full range of washing machines. We don't just do the 10 kilos, we do go all the way down to six kilos as well. And actually, Tony, if you just want to pop your head over here, you might be able to see some of the steam action working. So we've actually got the cutout here. And if you look in there, we use a very, very powerful steam burst. And so that means it's going to reduce all the creases and wrinkles and actually take out any allergies from your clothes as well. So if you do suffer from hay fever or anything like that, the steam action is going to be able to remove all those nasty allergies making your clothes beautiful and fresh. Okay, Tony, you'll be happy about this one. We've got a question from Peter S. Do you have a camcorder that streams direct to Ustream? Uh, yeah, we've got several. We've got Stream several, yes. Ustream. It's uh, it's kind of the, the whole reason these, uh, uh, these camcorders exist. So let's, um, let's go and find one. Okay, Dave Grohl from the Food Park has just walked past. Uh, here we go. Uh, right, so I'm coming back to, well, let's go to the V727. Um, the V727 uh, features a Wi-Fi button. And uh, what you do is you set yourself up a Ustream account, you press the Wi-Fi button, and it will try and find a, a Wi-Fi network. Once you're onto the Wi-Fi network at home, you can set this up stream to Ustream. Um, so it's going to struggle, obviously, to find... Uh, oh, no, no, we've got some other bits. There you can see Ustream Live Cast. So enter your account details and then start streaming live to the internet, much like we're doing now. Um, so this is a really lovely uh, way of using these camcorders. It always used to be about recording memories, but now it's about putting yourself out there as well so uh, yes you can you can also now my German's not great but I guess this one says home security and uh, you can use this set this up at home and uh, you can even talk to home uh, over the internet uh, using the inbuilt microphone so uh, there we go that's how we set it up to Ustream and uh, there are several cameras in the range that are capable of doing that Okay, probably your last question, Tony, from Margaret. Uh, show me a good compact camera with a good macro. A good macro. Well, I'm going to show you one with a good macro and a good zoom. So, I was going to say a compact. I'm going to show... I want to show that, I want to show that bridge camera, Adam. We're running out of questions. I know, I know. We're running out of time as well. All right, well, look, most of the cameras that we've got here have got a fantastic uh, macro function. And... The best way to uh, access this is to pop the camera into intelligent auto mode. I've got here another LF1. We can do that just with the, uh, the, the turn of a, a switch here. Some of them are, are slightly, uh, slightly different, but um, as I uh, move the display around, you can see that this is in the intelligent auto mode. Now, if I take a, a lovely portrait shot of my colleague Adam here, Never uh, you can see there that the camera has gone automatically to portrait mode. If I go down to something close up, and let's just do that. You can see the camera automatically goes to macro mode. And because it's got an f2.0 uh, lens, you can see that uh, when we take the picture, beautiful amounts of depth of field. So we've got this uh, hot shoe area all in focus and the bits behind it gently sort of braiding away. So it's gonna make a beautiful job of uh, any of your macro work. So I think we've probably run out of time. Adam. We are just about running out of time, Tony. So don't forget, you can tweet us as well with any of your questions at hashtag Panasonic E for Expert. And of course, from 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, we're back on air talking about all the latest and greatest technology. So don't forget to send any of your questions through and we'll be more than happy 
happy to get in there with the action, get hands on with the products, and tell you about all these fantastic features. So thank you very much for joining us. We hope you have a wonderful evening, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.